How's it going everybody? Tyler Sullivan here for CBS Sports and it is a new day in New England as Tom Brady decided to leave the franchise after 20 years and six Super Bowl titles to sign a two-year deal with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in free agency. And now most of us are looking at the New England Patriots and saying, now what? Who is going to be the quarterback of the future? Who is going to be the guy under center in 2020? And well, right now it looks like it's going to be second year man Jared Stidham, who was selected in the the fourth round of the 2019 NFL Draft by the Patriots and spent all of last season behind Brady as the backup quarterback. And even with that experience, I can imagine most of us will be looking at him in week one and saying, who is this kid? How did he become the Patriots starting quarterback? Well, I'm here to tell you a little bit about him and really kind of break down what makes him a special quarterback and what makes him different from Tom Brady. But first, let's just get to know the particulars of this kid and how he got to New England. Jared Stidham is a top recruit coming out of Texas. According to 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings, he was the number two quarterback in his class and the number seven overall prospect coming out of Texas. He originally committed to Texas Tech, decommitted after seeing Patrick Mahomes start lighting it up for Cliff Kingsbury's offense, and then decided to go to Baylor. Baylor, he played pretty well, but then obviously decided to leave because of issues with the coaching staff went to community college, and then ended up with the Auburn Tigers. And that's where he started to make a little bit of a name for himself. In 2017, it was by far his best collegiate season, and then took a little bit of a step back in 2018, which is why he was a fourth round selection, and ultimately taken by the New England Patriots. And for those really only paying attention during the regular season, the only time you actually may have seen Stidham play for the Patriots came back in week three against the New York Jets. And let's just say it wasn't the best introduction for the young quarterback to Foxborough. He was relieving Tom Brady late in the game after the Patriots were blowing New York out. And he immediately threw a pick six and it was immediately sent back to the bench by Bill Belichick. So, so not the best start for Stidham in the NFL, but to me, you can't judge him on that alone tough start out of the gate but really what we saw during the preseason I think shows where he can be a capable starting quarterback in the NFL and really has a skill set that the Patriots quarterbacks specifically Tom Brady just haven't had over the course of his 20-year career Tom Brady obviously legendary in some aspects but Stidham will be able to incorporate some things and Josh McDaniels will be able to scheme up some things that he hasn't been able to during the Tom Brady era for better or worse and let's look at the final preseason game in 2019 against the New York Giants as an example of that. For the preseason as a whole, Stidham was able to complete nearly 68% of his passes, and this finale against the New York Giants wasn't his most efficient game whatsoever, but I do think it shows you a couple of things that he can do in this offense. The Patriots quarterbacks haven't really been able to do, especially in Tom Brady's tenure here. To me, I want to look first and foremost at what I thought was his best throw of the preseason. I thought that this one really just showed you one of the ways where he can be special, and it's really revolving around his deep ball accuracy. He was able to complete a 35-yard touchdown to Demarius Thomas on the right side of the field, right at the pylon. I mean, he threw it right on a dime. To me, that is something that I think the Patriots will be better served in in 2020. I mean, you have a guy in Nikhil Harry who can go up and get the football, former first-round pick in the 2019 draft. I think that that is something that the Patriots are going to start incorporating here. And I think that Stidham has the ability to really drop it in there more so than other quarterbacks. I think that's one of the areas that made him special at Auburn, at Baylor, in high school, and now I think we're starting to see it, or at least we saw it for a moment with the Patriots and possibly going forward in 2020. The other aspect that I wanna look at with Stidham is his ability to run the football. We just haven't seen that from a Patriots quarterback in quite some time. In this game alone, he had 50 rushing yards. Really what you should be looking at here is something similar to what the 49ers do with Jimmy Garoppolo and Kyle Shanahan's offense. I think that that's a pretty good comparison in terms of their mobility. The 49ers are able to use Garoppolo on bootlegs and, and a little bit of RPOs. To me, that's something that's been lacking in the Patriots offense because it's really just been a death by a million paper cuts with Tom Brady's accuracy to his receivers like Julian Edelman and Wes Welker over the years over the middle. But now I think you can start opening things up a little bit more with a more mobile quarterback like Stidham and McDaniels can kind of scheme some things up here. Now, I don't, I don't think they're going to specifically scheme things up for him to start running the football and just let the wheels go. But I do think that his mobility, more so than Tom Brady's, will be able to design 
design a few more wrinkles into this Patriots offense. Now you can use some of that mobility with Stidham to make plays and make guys a little bit more open because he has that threat to take off and run for a first down every now and again. And after Jared Stidham's rookie season went to the books, we find ourselves here in the 2020 offseason. And I think everybody, for a moment at least, when Tom Brady announced that he was going to be leaving the New England Patriots in free agency, you started to ask the questions of, okay, what are the Patriots going to do at quarterback? What, what is going to be Belichick's next step here as he ushers in the post-Tom Brady era? And I think a lot of us were looking at the free agent market and saying, okay, Philip Rivers is available, Jameis Winston is available, you know, Andy Dalton is available. There were a bunch of veteran signal callers that they could bring in as a stopgap to kind of keep the train rolling in New England. And I think one of the biggest votes of confidence in Jarrett Stidham this offseason is the fact that the Patriots did absolutely nothing at the quarterback position. They did bring back Brian Hoyer, but to me, he's not, I don't think he's going to rival him for, for the franchise going forward. You know, maybe he starts the season if he beats him out over the summer, but right now, Stidham is the future of the New England Patriots. He's, he has high draft capital as a fourth round pick a, a year ago. And more importantly, the Patriots did not bring in another young quarterback at the 2020 NFL Draft when there were quarterbacks to be had. I mean, they were on the clock and Jordan Love was available in the first round before they traded out. And they had guys like Jake Fromm that were available, Jacob Eason, Jalen Hurts. All of those guys were on the board at various points in the draft and the Patriots just didn't seem interested in bringing them aboard. If they thought that Jordan Love was better, they would have spent a first round pick to bring him aboard. So to me, looking at all of those aspects and all of those quarterbacks that were available, this is a stamp of approval by Bill Belichick and Jared Stidham that he will at least have the inside track to take the starting quarterback job in 2020. Okay, now that we've set the table and really explained who Stidham is, where he came from, what the Patriots see in him, let's dim the lights, roll up our sleeves and turn on the tape and actually look at this kid in action. And I wanna highlight a couple of different instances over the course of his Auburn career. Let's dive in a little bit deeper on what exactly he does well and as it relates to the Patriots offense. To me, I talked earlier about his deep ball accuracy and while you can kind of think of that as as outside the numbers, going after those 50-50 balls, as I mentioned with possibly former first round pick Nikhil Harry. I also think that there's some situations where he can use these as deep crossing routes, what really was the bread and butter to say a Rob Gronkowski in the New England offense. And we saw that, which in what I think is his best college tape in 2017 against Alabama, I think that he showed this more than a couple of times on those crossing routes, which has been just the absolute dagger for a Patriots offense, whether it's deep to Rob Gronkowski or more shallow when it's a Danny Amendola or a Julian Edelman or a Wes Welker. That is something the Patriots have really dialed up in the past and has sliced up opposing secondary. So let's take a look at first the deep crossing route, which I think shows his deep ball accuracy and also really is able to hit things over the middle in, in a pretty fast degree. It shows his arm strength, but really the ball speed more than anything else I think is worthy for Stidham. And then we'll look at more shallow crossing routes, which I think is really impressive because he's going up against an Alabama blitz, is able to stay poised in the pocket and hit his receiver for a big game. And now let's take a look at his mobility. And this is something that I think is going to be extremely fascinating. And they run a little bit more bootlegs and RPOs, similar to maybe a 49ers offense. And he can do it in a couple of different ways when you see his mobility, whether it's him extending plays with his feet to make the throw or trying to run to score and try to make plays with his feet. And that mobility I think is just extremely interesting to then think of what that could be in a Patriots like offense. We saw a little bit of mobility from Stidham during the preseason, ran for 88 yards, which is interesting when you start looking at Tom Brady's rushing statistics. He ran for 88 yards for a season just five times in his career. So clearly Stidham the more mobile quarterback and as you just saw can make plays with his feet to either extend throwing plays or to actually use his legs to gain yards. He's not a burner, he's not Patrick Mahomes, he's not Lamar Jackson, but he does make enough plays with his feet to say that he's probably one of the more mobile quarterbacks the Patriots have had in quite some time. 
All right, now let's go over some of the things that Stidham needs to improve upon because he's not a perfect quarterback. Specifically, I want to look at what we saw in the preseason because there are two things that really stood out to me that is going to be make or break for Jarrett Stidham. And one of them was simply hanging on to the football way too long. And, and, and it resulted in nine sacks over the course of the preseason. And it's just something that is not going to be able to last at the NFL level, especially when you get towards the regular season. I mean, you hear from college players all the time say the biggest thing that they were, had to deal with transitioning from college to the pros was the speed of the game. So if you're talking about college to preseason, that's probably increasing it by a half a speed. And then when you go to the regular season, it's going to just increase that much more. And so for Stidham, you got to be able to read the defense pre-snap and know where you're going with the football just that much quicker. It just needs to happen or else that speed of those opposing defenses when it's not third stringers in the preseason and all of a sudden it's all pro and pro bowl players, you're just gonna get eaten up alive and you're not going to have a great offense. And the other thing that Stidham needs to improve upon is the timing of his throws. And there were a couple of instances, more than a couple of instances, over the course of the preseason where he was throwing behind his receivers a little bit. And that can really hurt an offense. Not only can that possibly create turnovers, but it just limits the ceiling of a given play. If you're throwing behind your receiver and you're not really leading him in the proper direction, that can turn what was a 10 yard gain and what could have been potential touchdown. You know, those are the things that Stidham needs to work on. So as much as we've said that he's been a great deep ball passer with his accuracy, those short intermediate routes over the middle, it really, the timing just wasn't there. And again, that could be chemistry with his receivers, but we saw it enough over the course of the preseason where it just seems like it could be an issue. All right, and now the answer to the question we've all been asking this offseason, can Jared Stidham be the heir apparent to Tom Brady, not just for the 2020 season, because I feel like he's already in the, in the discussion. He has the inside track of the starting job. It feels like the Patriots are going to give him every opportunity to take the job in 2020, but can he be the long-term answer at quarterback as they usher in this new era. And, and right now I say yes. I do think that he has all the skills to be the next starting quarterback for the New England Patriots. We saw the tape, we saw the type of talent that he has, not only with his arm, but with his legs, and what that can look like in a Patriots offense. But there's also the other caveat. He has Bill Belichick, he has Josh McDaniels. That's something that cannot be overlooked because of what we've seen from them with other quarterbacks other than Tom Brady over the course of these 20 years. Whether it's Matt Castle, whether it's Jimmy Garoppolo or Jacoby Brissett, Patriots starters not named Tom Brady have gone 13 and six and have completed nearly 65% of their passes. A lot of that is attributed to coaching. A lot of that is game planning and not asking their quarterbacks to do too much. So they're not going to ask Jared Stidham to be Tom Brady. They're not going to ask him to light it up each and every Sunday and try to win these games 35 to 33. It's just not going to happen. They've built a strong defense to really keep the, the scoring limit down for Stidham and to me I think they're going to build to his strengths that's what Bill Belichick does best with each and every one of his players doesn't ask them to do too much and builds to his strengths and whatever those may be so to me Jared Stidham is perfectly situated to not only bring the Patriots some success in 2020 but prove that he can be the franchise signal caller beyond next season do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.